But right now, we're using the um, fridge fans. We have two fridge fans at uh, 0.2 amps. We've got the uh, fridge running on gas, which I believe is about a half an amp. And we've got the LED lights, which are 0.4 amps. And right for the moment, we're running the fantastic fan um, to cool down the trailer because it was hot. It was uh, 85 in here when we set it up. With everything running, the battery is down to 12.5. You can see that. We'll see what it brings back up to tomorrow morning. It's it's nine o'clock Saturday morning. The battery seems to be uh, coming up on charge. It's gone from 12.3 to 12.5. The uh, amps is 0.6 amps going into the battery from the uh, solar panels up from 0.2 at seven o'clock. Um, it's August 14th. The uh, sky is uh, opening up a little bit. It was cloudy this morning and it's just uh, just getting clear again as usual the Sun is coming up behind that tree and we are pointing towards the west but we're getting enough reflected light to give us a little bit of energy at 11 30 12 o'clock more or less We've got, uh, we've got full charge on the batteries. We've got enough amperage to kill any drain that's going on. So um, that's not too bad. And again, we're still, we're still not facing the sun. The sky is getting fairly dark and ominous. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background. Not a, not a good day for solar, although there's blue sky in spots, but. It is two o'clock. The sun is pretty much all over the panel. So you can see the battery has come up to 13 volts. It's getting pretty warm though, and we're we're getting one amp. The battery fully charged, it won't take as much. So let me turn on, let me turn on the heater on the fridge and see what it goes to. Okay, I just turned the fridge onto DC heater. You can see the power dropping on the battery. Let's see what the charge is. 1.1, we're in a state of clouds. It's pretty cloudy. Overhead where the sun is, it's real cloudy. So I don't wanna leave that on too long. But it's still good that it's doing um, 1.3 amps off the panel. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, we've gone back to gas. And um, I can hear the fans, the refrigerator cooling fans, um, ramp back up in speed and down in speed. So we're at 1.4 because uh, we we killed a lot of amps off that battery just in a few minutes of. Uh, it is now 4:30, and the sun is directly on the directly on the um, sun, the solar panel. And we had had a little uh, thunderstorm. So the air is clear and the sun is out. So we're plugging in 4.2 amps to charge the battery, which is good. Solar prove out, trip number two. We're at 
Um, we've got a pretty good sight. We're facing south, and it looks like we'll actually have sun from around 9 in the morning until uh, 4 or 5 at night, or 4 and 5 in the afternoon. So we should have a good, a good uh, solar proof out. The red cloth is just to keep the sun out of the out of the trailer. It makes it pretty hot. We don't need don't need solar heating. Good morning everyone. It is 745. Temperature inside the camper is 59. Temperature outside is 54. But you can see we have one heck of a lovely day out. 7.45, 8 o'clock, we already have some sun on the solar, so that's great. We'll have a full day of solar today. Looking at the battery, this is 12.8, so it's put in full voltage. Probably not a whole lot of amps, but um, that's good. It'll keep the battery up. So, with that... I think it's time to make I think it's time to make breakfast. We just got back from a little hike. As before, clouds are coming and going. It's uh partly cloudy, more or less. The solar panels got uh full exposure if the sun was out. Um my battery is fully charged. Somebody's battery is a little uh, low because uh, too much hiking. Do you need a cookie? <laughs> He's tired. But uh, let's go inside. And... The controller says we're charging at 13.7, 25 degrees centigrade. 1.2 amps going in, and that's cloudy right at the moment. One of the things I think uh, I didn't realize before is I've got 10 amp hours that it will have gone into the battery um, total. Uh, there were two this morning before the sun came up. So I've got 8 amp hours into the battery already. So I think that's pretty good. So we're going along. It's a uh, it's 1230 on Saturday. It's 7 o'clock on Saturday and the battery appears to be mostly fully charged. Um, the sun has gone down. We're still getting 0.1 amps just from the clear blue sky reflection. 14 total amp hours in today, minus two from yesterday. So it's 12 amp hours into the battery from the day. That's not too bad. The uh, gauge is saying we're not quite full because we're 12.5, 12.6 volts. So we're down a little on the day. It was uh, mostly cloudy, um, well, on and off cloudy, um, but uh, I think we got a pretty good day's charge. We had the, um, of the things running, we had the fridge, of course, and we had the refrigerator fan running most of the day because it was hot. We're gonna turn that off now because it's cold. The temperature, in the trailer is 70. Outside it's 66. So we don't need the um, fan on the refrigerator coils if it's 66 outside. Sunday, 8.30. Um, it's uh, 8.30 in the morning, so the sun is just hitting the solar panel. And there's an awful lot of dew on the panel. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I don't know how that affects the uh, the absorption of sunlight, but I'm sure that will be gone in about 20 minutes. Um, we've got clear blue sky, just a little bit of hazy clouds, but um, we'll see what comes over. We've already got the voltage up to 13 and a half, um, but the battery isn't full or being charged very much. Amperage going in is low. The controller keeps the voltage where it should be, but the Actual amperage going in isn't very good, but it should be a good day. We should get a, a full charge for another day. We are getting into a little rainstorm. It's uh, completely clouded over. Um, 
its battery is at 12.5. I'm working on the laptop inside and I'm using an inverter to keep it charged. And this little inverter um, pulls a lot of power. So this little inverter I'm using, if you can read the specs on it, says it uses 9.5 amps to turn 12 volts into 120 volts. So that's a pretty good drain. Uh, I've been using it for about an hour here. So um, that's a lot of drain on the battery compared to what I'm getting for the solar. Maximum on my solar is 4 amps. And uh, so this is bringing, killing twice that. So I need a lot of sun to make up for that. And I don't have it at the moment. So we're going to pull that off and let the uh, let the laptop run on on its battery, which should last three hours anyway. Well, it's Sunday. It's been overcast and rainy all day. Again, full exposure on the panels, but no real sun. It's been pretty overcast and rainy since about two o'clock. Um, so let's go in and see what kind of sun we could have gotten on the panel. So the battery is at 12.5. Not real great for the day. And the amps going in right now are zero, of course, because it's fairly dark out. But overall in the whole day, we did 12 amp hours. 12 amp hours of charging, which really means my battery is a lot better off than it was. Uh, I think charging the uh, laptop probably took a lot out of the battery using that inverter. And you got to remember that, that some things take a lot of power. And inverters, because they, of what they do, really steal power. Heaters, inverters, things like that. So we're not bad. 12.5 get us through the night. 22 degrees out, it's getting kind of cold. But uh, 12 amps hours total input. So that'll, that'll take care of us for the night. Okay. Well, it's day four. It's Monday morning in Vermont. And we've got northeast weather. <laughs> it's sprinkling just a little, but there's no sunshine. Let's put this down and I'll uh, summarize the weekend. Here's the final determination. Um, it's Monday morning. We've got 12.5 uh, volts in the battery. We've gone four days using uh, above average on the electricity. We did, uh, we used our furnace for about five minutes just to make sure the furnace still worked. It ran the fantastic fan uh, a couple of, maybe an hour. The fridge um, ran all weekend, of course. And the fridge fans, I have two fans that I installed in the, um, to uh, ventilate the back of the fridge because the original fan was uh, fairly inefficient and used an awful lot of power. So I've installed two on there, but they're very low voltage, very low um, amperage. I think they take 0.1. Other than that, we didn't use, uh, the, the big thing I think that drew the most was I used uh, an inverter for an hour that took 9.5 amps and it really did seem to drag down the battery. Now the battery I have is a Group 24. It's a small, crummy, um, what they call a marine uh, deep cycle, which really isn't very deep cycle. It only has 80 amp hours. A marine deep cycle really is a, a boat motor starting battery. It's not a uh, real deep cycle. Um, so that's a, it's a, I think I might want to upgrade um, from a 80 hour battery to a 125. Um, an 80 hour battery, if you only take it down to 12 volts, like you're supposed to, will only give you 40 amp hours. Uh, it's, 40 amp hours isn't a whole lot if you don't get sun every day, <laughs> or if you want to use a lot of electricity. So, But I'm glad I had it. I would not be able to go four days without the solar, without some regen on the battery. Um, I've done it in the past and it does not work. So, uh, is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. Definitely a gr great uh, addition to the camper. And uh, I'm glad I did it. I hope the video showed you a little bit about what you can and can't do. 
you really can't uh, you really can't overuse electricity it doesn't give you a huge amount of extra electricity it just keeps you topped off so to speak um, as you use it if you have a good conservation mode for electricity um, it would never run a fridge on battery alone on 12 volts it would never uh, keep everything charged up um, even little uh, cell phone chargers and things like that use an awful lot of electricity so that's uh that's the bottom line i'm going to do another video on the uh, molly stark and i hope you'll uh, see that and uh, enjoy my videos if uh, if you really like them subscribe and uh, if you like this one give it a thumbs up down below uh, thanks for watching